Hey everyone, I unfortunately don't have much time for this video, so excuse the poor editing here. Um, as promised, I'm doing this to answer the few questions you asked you asked me in the survey and discuss a little bit uh, on the results. But first I would like to thank you all for your participation. I got way more answers than I was expecting, uh, consider considering how quiet the channel is since a few months. Your answers were, well, actually quite surprising. I didn't expect some of them, and to be more specific, the answers from the people I know. Now, to sum up the results, I first asked what you liked or disliked about, about the channel, but only the dislike question was mandatory, since it's actually the most important one for me, as I want to improve. Uh, I got a lot of very nice comments, really. I almost blushed at some of them. <laughs> I got a lot of positive reviews on how I do no damage videos, uh, my long descriptions, the editing, or how I play spe spellcasters rather than melee characters. Um, this, this really pleased me a lot because it's definitely what I focus the most on my channel. So that means that you all stayed and watched uh, my videos for uh, I want to say it, for what I truly am, I mean, as in for what truly defines me as a Tales player. So that was very, very nice uh, to discover that. As for what could have been improved, I actually didn't get much answers. For most are about the variety of videos and the schedule that I just can't follow. Um, I'm really fighting against time, so it's been more and more difficult to find some time to play Tales. Uh, not to mention that the NDX run takes pretty much all my free time already. So I'm trying to bring something at least every week. I'm doing my best, so I hope that will be enough for you. And as for the lack of variety, uh, I will talk about that a bit later. The next question was your favorite video or run? And no surprise, most of the answers were Grace's F. But you didn't simply say the Sharia run, you said the Zone Cage run. Uh, that, made, that made me laugh because I guess the, the world editing part really changed a lot on your perception of the world run. And that's probably why it's also your favorite. So I hope that uh, the next run, which is heavily uh, edited, will please you as well. Uh, I think every run except the mint one were mentioned, so that's nice. That means that you liked pretty much all my runs. Uh, you and Mel even got a lot of votes, so I was very, very happy uh, to see that. The next question was, which of those games are you sad to not see run? So why I wasn't too surprised to see a lot of Abyss answers, I was quite shocked to discover that the R games were overshadowing the other games. I mean, so many people want me to run Innocence R, I just didn't expect it at all. Uh, so I guess I will try to do at least a few videos for this game before I leave, since you are asking for it so much. Uh, maybe some, a few solos and maybe a combo if I can. The next one was, which fillers do you want to watch? Uh, most of you asked for streams, random solos, and even the NDX exhibitions. And once again, Innocence R stuff. Uh, but you... You all asked pretty much for many different stuff, so it's a bit hard to know what I should focus on. So I guess this means that I can do pretty much what I want uh, for the fillers and, and upcoming videos. Then I asked a bunch of questions about communication. Um, basically, I should talk more about my experiences and games, and I should keep uh, my streams the same way I usually do. Uh, almost all of you asked for the Discord server. It's actually ready. You can find the link in the description. I, I tried to set up some rooms for specific topics like well, solo runs, general test stuff, but I must admit I'm pretty bad at this kind of stuff, so I hope you will help me there to improve uh, how uh, the Discord server is set up. Also, I don't usually talk much, so I will make some efforts to start at least the conversations, but please don't expect too much from me. And finally, I asked a few questions about the upcoming NDX run. And I feel like you've been all pretty much honest. I mean, I got some people who don't really care about it, which I can perfectly understand. 
but most, most of you still were rather positive about it. Thanks again a lot because that definitely means a lot uh, to me. And that's pretty much about it for the questions I asked you. At the end of the survey, I gave you the opportunity to express yourself. Uh, most of you actually told me very, very sweet stuff and didn't take the occasion to ask me questions. That, that's okay, I only got three of them and I will answer them right now. First question, is it okay to talk to you in French? Bien sûr, puisque c'est ma langue native. Et de toute façon, je ne pense pas que tout le monde puisse forcément parler anglais euh, sur mes vidéos. Après, je préférerais quand même avoir des commentaires en anglais, car ça permet de mieux partager l'information avec tout le monde, et surtout si c'est une question. The second question is, why do you stop the channel? Is it because of the lack of support or maybe time? It's actually quite difficult to explain. Um, first, yeah, I have less and less time for myself. And doing nada damage runs are just a huge time sink because it requires a lot of preparation and hundreds of takes. It's way too much time invested on the series for little benefits. And I will explain why I say that. I never did this channel for recognition. I mean, it's super obvious since I'm playing Tales games. And I pretty much did everything possible to get as little attention as I could. I'm playing non-localized Tales. I upload videos on a website where the targeted audience, and I mean Japanese people, aren't, since they are on Nikoniko. I don't record anything related to Team Symphonia games. I play spellcasters and healers that people usually believe are boring, unlike the melee characters. I only make solo runs, which is probably the most uncommon type of video you can find about Tales. I don't make playthrough, I don't make speed runs, I don't make exhibitions. I don't make combo videos. So like I said, everything was done to make my channel stay unknown, even though it was on purpose. And while now I do get my fair subs, thanks to all my work, I still benefited a lot from big channels like Kevasa, Clipper Omega, since they ad advertised me a lot at the very beginning of my channel. All I wanted is share my discoveries about the series. I mean, tales are really, really deep. There's a lot of interesting stuff to do and discover. Uh, even though most of those things are just unnecessary considering how broken this series is. But I wanted to ignite some interest about mechanics from my favorite series. And as time went on, I think this interest declined. Most people now don't really care about the systems. And aside from Kevasa, I just don't talk about mechanics with anyone else. Even worse, I think challenge runs are completely dead. Most runners disappeared without leaving any trace and I'm just here all around doing that. I, I just don't know how this happened. I personally think things like the cheat engine and Zest is part of the answer. But to be honest, I guess it's mostly that people are tired of this series uh, thanks to the last few test games uh, since they didn't reach people's expectations. Now, I did hold the grudge against some people of the community. A uh, lot of people were quick to put words on my mouth without even asking for my opinion or my side of the story, and it led to many random haters. Um, Tales fans are rather negative, you know, so I don't think it should, I should be around them uh, if they get it triggered so easily without waiting for any justification. Um, oh, and by the way, since uh, I saw one of your comments, uh, I don't really care if you are an experienced player or not. I think your opinion is just as, as, as valuable as any other. So as long as you explain yourself about your experience on a specific topic, I don't mind. Still, while I don't really care anymore about all these things, I will still attempt to once again be part of this community. Uh, the difference is that now I don't expect anything anymore. So, and as, as an answer to the original question, I will actually give another question. Do you really think all of this is worth my time? Okay, last question, then I'll go to sleep. What do you play when you are not playing Tales games? Mm, it's hard to say since I play a lot of different games. 
mostly Nintendo games. Um, I'm a huge Kirby fan. I really, really like um, 3D Mario and Zelda games. Uh, I play Metroid games, the Smash series. Uh, I used to play a lot of RPGs, but since they require a lot of time to complete, I stopped playing them. Uh, I like action and platform games, even bullet aid games. A lot of different games, actually. Uh, I think I will, I will put a link uh, to my backlog of games so that you can actually actually see what I usually play. That will be easier. And I think I'm done. Wow, this took way too long. <laughs> I'm quite exhausted from all this talking, to be honest. And this must show since uh, I made a lot of mistakes during this video. Uh, thanks again for sticking around, and we will see later, hopefully in the Discord server and on the next videos.